What is up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Drive By with Luis Torres. So, um, it's kind of been a little upsetting slash disturbing at the fact that since Eddie Van Halen passed away, there are guitarists that are profiting from the fact that he passed... So they're now selling their PV5150 EVH block letterheads or even the next gen, which is the signature, um, for these ridiculous numbers. You know, one guy legitimately just had his up for auction and it had gotten to over $2,000. Um, just so you guys know, Maybe it was two years ago, three years ago, I bought a PV5150 block letterhead and paid 500 bucks for it. Sold it to my boy Tom for 650 if I remember. 650 which is still great. Then, instantly regretted selling it, and luckily enough, maybe about two months ago, I randomly walked into my local guitar shop. They hadn't even put this amp on the shelf yet, uh, and there it was on the side, and it was the PV5150 signature, and I bought it for 500 So it's a little upsetting to see uh, that people are profiting from the death of an iconic figure like Eddie Van Halen. Like, for me, you know, I don't know, if, if you bought uh, a Shelby and Shelby passed away, I feel like there's a huge difference because you're talking about cars that cost, you know, $80,000. So to me, the fact that, you know, here's a, an amp all day long, 500 bucks. And if you pay more than 500, you're probably paying, you know, closer to the ballpark of, 600, 700 if it's literally in a brand spanking new mint condition. Um, but seeing guys post them for, you know, literally just out of the blue, out, out of left field, 1,600, 2,000, um, it was upsetting, you know. And, and, you know, as a kid, I feel like everyone that was raised in the 80s is more than familiar with um, Van Halen in general. Uh, whether you're a Sammy Hagar fan, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. In the end, you're basically a Van Halen fan because of the music that Van Halen wrote, right? So here are these guys buying, so, sorry, selling uh, these amps, and there are guys buying them. Like, to me, you know, it's one thing, and that's karma it is eventually just going to punch you right in the throat, uh, for selling, uh, your PV EVH 5150 block head, uh, letterhead at such a, a ridiculously inflated number, but shame on all you guys who are like, must have one. Oh, it's 2000. I'll pay for it. Like, bro, what are you doing? Like what? Like, I feel like these buyers or these bidders are just as bad you know, so I don't know how the seller, you know, that, that's just him. But the one PV5150 block letter that was already over 2000 did that thing had like 70 uh, bids on there. And of course, if it's 70 bids, like, dude, it's literally people bidding in $10 increments. And it's just, you know, it's just progressively just increasing from there. And shame on you guys. You know, I went ahead and had a photo of my EVH, uh, of my PV um, 5150 signature, posted it on on eBay, and the first number that I threw on there was 4,500 because I felt like it was high enough that no one is going to accidentally hit the buy it now uh, button at that at that number, uh, and I had a little message. You know, my message was. You know, shame on you guys for for doing that. Like, how are you profiting from the death of someone that literally 
tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of musicians globally have looked up to and, you know, look at Eddie Van Halen as their mentor. And, you know, we don't know the guy, you know, we just know what he did for music and, and for the metal genre in general and the rock genre and the craziness that is, you know, Eddie Van Halen. So, you know, so I posted it and I felt like there just wasn't enough people seeing it. So I then, uh, but funny enough, uh, Fluff went ahead and on his Instagram account had taken a screenshot uh, and mine was actually at the bottom at 4,500. I then increased it to 9,500 because I wanted people to, to do a search for PV5150 and see this ridiculous buy it now number, click on it because I wrote read description, which made people read the description and you know, I've gotten a, a handful of accolades where people were just like, dude, good for you for sharing that uh, point of view, your opinion on the fact that, you know, these elevated prices for these PV5150 is like, bro, like, chill, go ahead and wait a few weeks. Yo, those things, will, you know, you'll be able to buy them again for 500 bucks. But shame on all you guys that are just being a part of the problem. You know, there could be a problem, but if you're part of it and you are um, uh, just making this problem and ballooning it and making it infinitely worse than it really is, or or not that it really is, it's, it's bad in general. That's, yo, that's a karma thing. You know, um, I grew up in New York City. I worked on Wall Street for years and... Uh, unfortunately, was there uh, on September 11th, 20, on uh, 2001, and uh, and had friends. I'm talking about traders that I worked with, who realized now's probably a really good time to short the airlines. So they shorted the airlines, so they made money knowing that the airline industry, that all their shares would just drop. And they did, they shorted it. Then they went ahead and once it kind of bottomed out, they bought shares of all of these airline companies and then made money on the way up. Like, yo, how do you go ahead and profit off the death of anyone, anyone? Like, yo, that's just, dude, I just got goosebumps even thinking about that. Like, yo, that is, that's heinous at a completely different level of the game. And that's just me, you know, I, you know, people can do whatever they feel like doing. Like, yo, we're, you know, it's, we're now in the middle of COVID world. You know, some people have lost their jobs. Um, some people are, you know, if they work an hourly wage, you know, their hours have been cut. That's happened to, you know, I know a lot of guitarists, musicians where that's happened. Um, and you know, it's hard for me to say good for you for making money on the fact that you're taking advantage of a really bad situation. Um, but it's different from nine 11. You know, I feel like, like, yo, this is someone that we have always looked up to. You know, think of how many people have been, you know, on board with the EVH 5153, EL34, the 6L6, the new Stealth. Like, yo, that is someone that even if you're not into Van Halen or even care for the way Eddie plays in general, for the most part, if you're into metal, you probably either own an EVH 5153 or you've played out of one, you've demoed one, you've used one, you've, you, you're connected to the brand. Um, and when the owner passes and these guys make money on it, you know, that's, I, you know, I, you know, I, I can't even understand that because I don't think like that. I don't think, Hey, let me see if I can get away with making more by selling my PV5150. Um, 
aside from the fact that I love the amps that I have, you know, I'm all about buy low and sell high, you know, for days, all day long, all day long. Dude, I'm watching Bloomberg and uh, MSNBC all day long, every day. I have a 30-inch monitor that is linked up to my Apple TV, and it only plays finance shows, period, all day long from the time I wake up. I click on it, watch it, until I'm done editing photos and or just working in general. Um, so I get the whole... Hey, I bought this for 500. I bought this for 600. I bought this for 800. Let me see if I can sell it for more. Um, but I think there's kind of like a right time to do that. And picking Eddie Van Halen's death uh, to do that to me is absolutely terrible. Terrible. And that's just me. You know, some of you guys are going to look at me and be like, you opinionated fuck, shut up. Um, whatever, you know, you have your opinion. I have mine. We're all entitled to ours, right? We live in a free country. Um, you know, I just, it's just, it's something that I can't do. So I wanted to just have one dedicated episode where I just cover my opinion on um, on this whole, you know, issue, and it's an issue, it's an issue when guys are doing this and no one is speaking out saying anything, um, you know, it's, it's, they can do whatever they want, right, you, you know, it, it's a free country, regardless of where you are, you can do whatever you feel like doing, any time of the day, whenever you want, um, I just think that, you know, there's certain times that you can do things, and as a musician, there's just things that, yo, you just can't do. I'm sorry, you just can't do. Even if you feel like doing it, you just can't do it, kid. You cannot. You cannot profit from the death of Eddie Van Halen. Fuck you if you think that it's cool to do that, and, and it's a fucked up way of thinking, so... Guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the absolute best, and as usual, I will talk to you guys soon.